Your voice, your radio station. Since the 1st of December 1993, Joy 94.9 has been out, loud and proud on the Community Radio Network, sharing the voices, the stories, the highs and the lows of Australia's diverse lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex and queer communities. With over 200 volunteers on the mics and behind the scenes, the station keeps our community's voices broadcasting all around Australia and the world and is one of only three 24-7 LGBTI radio stations worldwide. So far, 2020 has been a big year for the station. They broadcast live from Melbourne's Midsummer Festival, from Sydney's Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras Parade and even Chill Out in Dalesford. Plus, later this year, the station is moving to the Victorian Pride Centre, a hub for LGBTI groups and organisations showcasing our culture and our history. But then, something happened. COVID-19 and social distancing. Suddenly, the Joy 94.9 studios that are normally a bustling hub of excitement and energy were empty. With mandatory essential-only team members on site, This community hub, like so many of our spaces, felt like a bit of a ghost town. But not on the airwaves. Just like the Starship song says, nothing's going to stop us now, as Joy volunteers continue to create their shows and inform and entertain our communities from their very own homes, whether recording audio in their kitchen, under a blanket, or even in their cars. We had a big meeting with everyone on um, via video chat, and we had to tell all of our... 150 or so on-air volunteers that we were suddenly closing down the station and everyone was going to have to learn to broadcast remotely. I'm so incredibly proud of all of the volunteers at Joy. It's just been, it's been an amazing experience. Um, I've spent a lot of time calling a lot of our on-air broadcasters and there are people here who can't use Studio 3 because Studio 1's the only one with CD players in it and they don't know how to use the digital playout system yet and I've called them to tell them that they're going to have to record from home and the response I've got is, oh I know and I've already gone out and bought a microphone. You know, there's been no pushback, it's just been how can we do this, what can we do, how can we help each other. Um, I'm so proud that most, like every time I talk about it I start to tear up, it just, it, and I'm going to do it again, Um, it, it just makes my heart sing. It's been an incredible experience. Broadcasting from home is, it's interesting. I literally am sitting in my closet as I am for all of my Melbourne's most uplifting music mix shift. Now that we were doing it remotely, we all had to upskill on this new technology very quickly. I was really prepared to broadcast from home because I do two shows on Joy and both of them are pre-recorded. I have my own sort of, I'm fortunate enough to have my own equipment here at home so I can record from wherever I want with really good technical equipment. It's been a bit of a lifeline for me in a ways, um, feeling because I wasn't able to go to Joy and I wasn't able to do a lot of other things because things had shut down. And so being able to continue to be part of a team and even step up my commitment and um, my involvement has been really great for me personally. And um, hopefully, (laughs) hopefully it's appreciated in the community as well. I am so proud of the Joy team. Uh, I know exactly how hard everybody is working and everyone is learning as they go. So, you know, at the start, our recordings were coming through and people saying, I'm not quite happy. I want to make it a better sound. And everybody is continually learning and continually improving. And that makes me feel so incredibly proud. And I wanted to say the feedback we've got from our listening community is just gorgeous. And just because Joysters are recording their shows from their homes doesn't mean they still aren't having a whole heap of fun. With news broadcasts every hour, some of the news teams started doing the nude news at noon. What a cheeky way to keep us informed as this weather gets cooler. So our lovely Monday morning broad news reader, Joseph, uh, he instigated the nude news at noon and we started putting a few photos up on, on Twitter and, and Facebook of, of Joe in the bath doing his news bulletins. It's a lovely idea because we're doing a lot of news. A lot of it's been quite negative. I mean, things are starting to turn around a little bit now and we're getting some positive news stories around COVID-19 but at the start we were doing more news it was all quite negative and hard so it's it's really important to find ways to have a laugh and have a bit of fun with it as well Um, so the nude news the nude news started from there 
Um, and I was one of, one of Joseph's followers and as uh, one of the female members of the team, I instigated the, the boobs out bulletin or the tits at 10 or possibly even tits at two. It's so great to hear that even in self-isolation, you can tune your radio or stream into Join 94.9 and keep hearing the voices of our communities. Thanks to the whole Joy team for continuing to be out, loud and proud, even in self-isolation.